With us right now, we have Dan Noonan, archaeologist. Dan, how are you? Very good, thank you, Shane. We're here in Yall. You're after uncovering a find here in Yall. Can you just tell us briefly about it? Certainly. What we're after covering is the original medieval street surface that's uh, been underneath the ground here for the last four, five, six, seven hundred years. Yeah. There, thereabouts, you know. Um, what it is, we have cobble surface, we have uh, paving slabs, very much in the vein of what's actually going to go down as part of the current projects going on here. Yeah. I believe you found some pottery. Yes, we did. We found some uh, medieval Santonge pottery, which has given us a very, very good date to actually date the uh, paving that's in there uh, into the 13th or 14th century. And subsequent to that then, on various different layers above it, we've got uh, Scrifito pottery of 17th century date. So we've got a wide span of uh, history and time on the street. It's, it's just one of the f many finds, but it's the most significant one you've found. So far, when we say digging up the street here, you've found other pieces of, of, of archaeological interest, yeah, I suppose. We have. We have we've had patches of the cobbling and patches of the surface turning up. Um, but this up here really is, has been the biggest and most substantial area we've opened up. And for us, it's very exciting because it's the largest area that, of archaeology, of intact and situ archaeology, we call it, that we've had in the town in a long, long time. So is it, how, how important is it to the town of Yall, this particular find? It's very important in that uh, it's the first time we've had a substantial piece of archaeology exposed. We've had an opportunity to actually deal with it and record it, and perhaps most importantly, we, we're, we, can, keep it, we can keep it in place. You know, it's, it's adding greatly to our story. It's adding greatly to what we know about the town. We suspected there was items like this underground, but now we actually have the physical evidence to prove it. So what's the procedure now then? Certainly, Shane. What we're doing at the moment is actually we're just recording what you, what's going on here. What you can see now is Frida here on the right-hand side is actually drawing it. Uh, we're doing a scale drawing uh, of the entire area that's been exposed. Uh, on the other side, then, Eve over here on the left-hand side, we'll be actually taking levels so we can record in three dimensions. On top of that, we'll actually have a written description of what's in there and we'll have a photographic record. Uh, and by that, we just have a record for posterity what's in there. So potentially, if we come back in the future, we know that it's there and what is there. Um, after that, we're actually going to preserve it, preserve it in situ, as they say, so right. it can be left there. Thankfully, we have flexibility within the depths that are there to actually move the services and work things through. Um, and so we put a layer of taran, which is a protective membrane that will um, allow us to um, bed it in sand as well. Right. And we'll put a layer of sand on top of that and then build off that with the formation levels for the actual services. So that'll protect the archaeologists there and also allow us to continue with the project. I suppose the good thing about that is it's protected and in future generations they know it's there because you have records of it as well. So they can dig it up again if they want. Exactly. Plus the biggest thing as well is that archaeology and what's there is a very finite, it's a non-renewable resource. So once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. You know, and us by working on it and by actually removing it, we're destroying it. So really our purpose is to sort of minimise the impact that the project will have on archaeology just so by doing that we've been able to sort of do that but at the same time get the story that's needed on this particular project and you're you're consultant to the town council here is it yes uh, i've been retained um, as part of the, uh, currently there's a heritage Ed regeneration plan in place right. and as part of that the town council do a lot of public realm works which is improvements to the various streetscapes that are there for example man lane fox's lane and church street now is just the latest on that that's been done okay and um so they've they've i've been retained to actually look at the archaeology give the oversight on that provide the attendance um when the archaeology turns up and try and resolve it look through the various uh paperwork procedures are there and all this work now is carried out uh, under consent from the Minister for Environment right. items like that okay. you know and um, just basically put the information together and uh, produce a report and just, um, hopefully we're going to disseminate it back out into uh, signage into heritage signage into uh, displays into the lectures into information things like that You're a very busy man indeed Dan and obviously with a lot of work behind you we're going to let you get back to work but thanks for talking to you all online It's a pleasure anytime Thank you Shane